everyone. Welcome to Tap That MTG, the show where we tell you everything we know about Magic the Gathering. That's probably wrong, but fun to talk about. We are here with some new friends and old friends um, for a fun after Christmas EDH challenge. I still have a turkey uh, insomnia nap hangover happening. So I hope not to miss all my triggers. Uh, but before we get started, of course, as always, we're going to go around the table, give everybody the opportunity to tell you who they are, where you can find them, and who, what they're playing as a commander. So without further ado, we will start with Booster Tutor. Hello, I'm Booster Tutor. Uh, I have a YouTube, youtube.com slash Booster Tutor, where I do like product openings and random buys and stuff. And today I'll be playing, <laughs> thank you, thank you, uh, Omna, <laughs> Locus of Creation. Uh, so yeah, just that broken old Omna, so. Broken old Omnath, lovely. <laughs> <Pretty much. laughs> For those that don't know what Omnath does, can you uh, give people oh, of course, of course. on YouTube and, and chat an idea? So, he's four colors, red, green, white, blue. When he enters the battlefield, you draw a card, and landfall, whenever a land, a land enters the battlefield under your control, you gain four life, if this is the first time this ability is resolved. If it's the second, you get red, green, white, and blue, and if it's the third, he deals four damage to each opponent and each planeswalker you don't control. Mm -hmm. Nice. So this Making is a very, some elementals a very and... landfalls matters deck. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Running over us quickly, are we? Yeah, pretty much. All right. <laughs> Well, I am hoping, I'm playing IEC, Tyrant of the Gyre Straits, and I am hoping to uh, build a large enough wall of giant <laughs> serpents to stop elementals from running me over. Uh, this is a fun commander. I like it because you get to play extra lands and you get to draw cards when you play lands. So eventually, hopefully, you can just do whatever you want because you have enough lands and you have enough things in your hand. And down to myself, Dan. All right. I am Big Dan. Uh, you can find me on TikTok there, um, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. I am Nat One Gaming, which is me and my friends. We get together, we play Commander, we play D&D, and in the new year, we're probably going to explore with a couple other new games, too. So uh, tonight, oh, tonight for me. <laughs> I am playing uh, Marin of Clan Neltoth. I love Golgari. I love doing Golgari graveyard shenanigans, and she is the best at it. So I'm hoping to build up an army of things in my graveyard that hopefully doesn't get exiled and um, <laughs> explore frogs and elementals. All right, so, counting on Shauna to bajuka bog ya. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't know if I have that in here, damn it. Um, yeah, so I have Andy, and this is just about lots of little vampires, hopefully, and uh, we'll just do some blood sucking because that's what's fun. Always draining people's lives, and well, you're doing madness, right? Yeah, a bunch of madness, yeah, madness, lots of madness. Cool. Well, we've already drawn our first hands and randomized us, so Booster Tutor, it looks like you get to go first. You have a fan right. in chat, too, so. Oh, you're, 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 you. you know, first on the board here for people like well, you. I'm not going to be a fan to anyone when I play an <laughs> island and Ruin Crab. Oh, oh God, no. <laughs> okay then. Ruin okay. Crab right off yep. the bat. Oh, yeah. So landfall, each opponent <laughs> mills three. Lovely. Well, I'm going to draw. And uh, I think I'll just play Guild Gate and say go. It's a Simic Guild Gate. I guess I gotta turn off my lights. I got glare. I'll be right back. Not a fan anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will go ahead and play a lowly, unassuming Misty Rainforest out of the glare. And pass the turn. I will draw. And I'm going to play <laughs> my Blight Step pathway that I forgot that I took out of this deck. <laughs> Your little proxy. So My little proxy. I forgot that I took it out. Um, yeah, that's my turn. All right. Draw. I'll play the Booster Steam Tutor bits. dies first. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I already, I already got damage. I took two. So I roll on mill three. <laughs> Jesus. One. Land. Oh, my Terastodon. 
And my meteor golem. I mean, I'm just helping Dan, so. I got, yeah, I got a forest <laughs> swamp and a grim horror specs. <laughs> this is not going to go back to your graveyard. Play Arcane Signet. <laughs> and pass turn. On your end step, I'm going to go ahead and crack my fetch. All right. I will grab up a bayou, and that's it. I will play an island and Seiko. Oh, I have more stuff to do. <laughs> um, <laughs> one second. Um, oh, we get this... gold. We get gold. Oh, yay. Bayou. <laughs> get that out of the glare. I will go ahead and use that Bayou to Vampiric Tutor. So I search okay. my library for a card, put it on top, and pay two life. Where I did not mean to eat up all of the time. <laughs> That's okay. You have an extra mana too available to you. Oh, sweet. All right. So tap that gold doesn't count as uh, an artifact or a treasure. It's just, it's just mana. My my potato chip of gold. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Infinite tokens, they're amazing. Yeah, they are. <laughs> okay. Ugh. All right, you said it was my turn? Yes. All right. I will untap, I will draw. I will play a mana crypt, which I will go ahead and use to play a Ramanop Excavator, which allows me to play lands from my graveyard. Mm, nice. So I will go ahead and drop a Misty Rainforest, which nice. I will go ahead and crack, and I will grab a basic forest off of it, which I will use to play a Land of War Elf. And that will be turned from me. Okay. Draw. Some play Swamp. Um, huh. I'm gonna, oh, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna use my gold and play Angie. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tap her and discard Slee, draw card. Um, and I get to untap her. No, I don't. He does not have madness. Shauna, read the card. <laughs> um, that's it. All right. Untap. Draw. Uh... Hmm. Right. All right. Claire Triome, so mill three. Swamp Land, abrupt decay Land, and a skull clamp. Whelming weed. I got bit the hooting in there. And then let's do it. Use my gold. Here comes on now. Here comes the Omnath. <laughs> I get a draw card. And then pass turn. Okay, so I'm going to play Forest. And then I'm going to tap three to play Search for Tomorrow. And I'm going to go get myself a basic land, put it onto the battlefield, and then shuffle my library. And that will be my turn. All right, I will untap and roll for crypt. If it is evens, I will take the damage. And I rolled a four, so I will take three. Okay. I'm bringing up the bringing up the bottom end. All right. <laughs> Draw for turn. Woo! 
I will play a swamp as land for turn. Yeah, pretty land. I will. Yeah, it's one of the Bob Ross ones, but the frame yeah, on nice. it from the mythic nice. is just. Um, I will go ahead and tap those two to play a Kodama's Reach. Um, allowing me to search two basic lands, one onto the battlefield tapped, and the other one into my hand. Um, I will put a Swamp onto the battlefield tapped, and I'll go ahead and cast a Renegade Reaper, which is a 2-3 flying whenever it enters the battlefield. Mill four cards is the only pertinent line of that text. Swamp on tapped, Forest into and potentially and then that's all that it's going to be for me so i'll go ahead and pass my turn and then hit my mill if that's okay with y'all mm -hmm. sure. no problem I'm upkeep i'm going to return speed to my hand draw Oops. another swamp um Mm -hmm. Tap three for a Raptor Blocket. Um, I hit a land, a life from the loam, a disciple of the vault, and another land off of my mill with the Reaper. Okay. And I will pass. All right. There we go. Oh, that's fine. I'll play Orobo, so I'll gain four. And you guys mill three. Arcane Signet, Elvish Visionary, Golgari Charm. Island. Command Tower. Ouch. Another land. Oh man, three lands. lands. <laughs> All right. Then I will... Parade, Incorrigible Youth, Heat on Archive. Then I'll cultivate. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to kill that stupid thing. I love the crab. <laughs> yeah, he loves the crab. Uh -huh. There we go. Planes. And then I put an island into my hand. So we mill three. I will. Oh, that's right. Yeah, mill three. Forest, Lightning Greaves, Underrealm, Lich. I got Scourge of Fleets and Convulsive Research and Island. You and guys all gain... get to see what our decks are. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'll gain four mana and I will play Yashrin. I don't know how to pronounce that. Ooh. Hey, Austin. Merry Christmas. Hi, Austin. So. I get a basic forest or planes put in my hand, or a billet put in my hand. Then players can't pay life or sacrifice non-land permits to cast spells or activate ability. That's something against me. All right. So I will. Who's open? Leslie, do you have anything? Yeah. Out? No. No. All right. Omnath four coming at you. I will take it. All right, now pass turn. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, no, what happened? Someone played a sound. Thanks, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> Staring the crap Austin. out of me again. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. I will play a forest, and then I will... One, two, three, four, five, six... I will use that to play EC, which allows me to play another land, and this time I get to draw a card. Mm -hmm. Click on that. So it only turned four, right? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Right? <Honestly>. Right. <laughs> Um, I'm going to pass the turn. All right. I will go ahead and untap and roll for my crypt. Same thing. If it's evens, I get hurt. 
and a one, so I am safe. Nice. For now. Yes, I will draw. <laughs> I am quite infamous at getting hurt by my crypt. <laughs> I will play a forest. Um, I will go ahead and go black, green, and the mana crypt and attempt to cast Marin. I'll allow yep. it. I got nothing. All right. So <laughs> whenever another creature I control dies, I gain an experience counter. And at the beginning of my end step, choose a creature card in my graveyard. If its mana value is less than or equal to the number of experience counters I have, put it onto the battlefield. Otherwise, put it into my hand. And I will See, Booster Tutors gained some life. Do you have any flying? Mm -hmm. I do not. I will come at you with two in the air from the right. Renegade Reaper. I'll take two. Um, I will go ahead and move to end step. Trigger on Marin. I will target my Disciple of the Vault. So no counters, it would go back to hand. If there's no responses, that would be turned for me. Interesting. No responses from me. No responses. All right. On your end step, I'm going to tap her and discard the draw card. Untap. Upkeep. I'm going to put it back over here. Draw card. It's a nice little engine that you got. All right. <laughs> Um, gosh, you guys, so much stuff. Uh, I don't know, you guys, I don't know. I'm gonna, no. I'm going to tap her and discard Baldaren Pariah to exile. It has madness, so I untap her. Okay. Oh. You're hoping for that land, weren't you? I'm going to tap black. Oh, it has yet. Yeah, play right her. Nice. Hey, JJ. Um, Merry <laughs> Christmas. I'm going to tap those two to play a cathartic reunion. Um, discard two cards. So I can discard three and the swap. Draw three cards. One, two, three. Wowzers, look at all the interactions you're doing down there. Right. And I will pass the turn. I have to discard. Right. Go ahead. Draw for turn. Oh, oh. Okay. Try to draw. All right. Um, oh, any of this. All right, play a mountain. Mill three. Damn it, booster. <laughs> land, land. I could have used those lands. Uh, Undergrowth Stadium, Razakith Foul Blooded, and Protean Hulk. Oh, nice. All right. Did you two get together before you came on and <laughs> right. just be like, how can we help <laughs> each other? <laughs> two green? Oh, my gosh. Oh, well, crap. I don't have two green. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> all these lands are all red and blue, basically. <laughs> yes, discarding the hand size is definitely the highest form of trolling in EDH. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, I guess I'll just attack then. So I got two four fours. What do we got out here? I mean, I didn't mean to laugh at you. <laughs> Well, you got a five five, so you're fine. I don't want <laughs> okay. Lose. I don't want to lose Omnath. Come on. <laughs> yeah, Marin. Okay. Van. Two four fours coming at you. Two four fours. Um. So you got Yasharn and Omnath. Yes. I will go ahead and black. Green. I will go ahead and assassin's trophy to Yasharn. Oh, how could you? So you do get to search your library for a basic land. Ooh. <laughs> do I get? Does it come to play tapped? Um, I believe it comes into play tapped. Oh, no. All right. Mill three. Actually, no. It just comes into the oh. battlefield. Oh, even better. So you mill uh, three. I get counter spell. Yavimar <laughs> Elder, acidic slime. In the migration. Reflecting mm -hmm. pool, greater good, elvish mystic. Right. And then I will. I will block the milled already on me. All right. Turn five. So your yeah, land war dies, and I gain an experience counter. Perfect. All right. So now that I have four mana, miss. I'll pay. Multani, Gavamaya's Avatar, uh, Reach, Trample, mm -hmm. and it gets plus one, plus one for each land you control and each land card in your graveyard. So, seven, nice. so seven, seven. Yeah, that's about all I can do right now. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Pass <laughs> turn. I suppose. <laughs> and down. Draw. I will play a forest. Actually, no, I won't. I will first tap three and play lore scale codal. Ah. Then I will play a forest and I will draw a card. And it will get a counter. So it is a three three. And then I will play my second land for turn which is jungle basin and i will draw a card and get a counter and i will tap one to play soul ring and hmm i will play urban evolution which allows me to draw three cards. Three. And I can play an extra land for turn, so I will play a Terramorphic Expanse. I suppose I should pay for that. I'm very upset that you don't have a Ruin Crab in play. I know, right? So am I. <laughs> <laughs> um... I will crack my Terramorphic Expanse at the end of my turn, and I'm not going to swing. So, yeah, that'll end my turn. All right. So we'll go ahead and untap. I will roll for Crypt. If it is even, I take the Hurt. Two, I will take three. I will go ahead and draw. That's a card I bet people wish they had right now. Um, I will tap my mana crypt. Um, so I will use two of it. I will play a scavenging ooze. Ooh, nice. Which allows me to exile cards from graveyards. If it's creatures, he gets bigger and I gain life. Um, then I will go ahead and tap the rest of the way for a Moldervine Reclamation. Nice. Whenever a creature I control dies, I gain a life and draw a card. Nice. 
Um, I did not play a land this turn. So with the Ramanop, I will... I will play an Undergrowth Stadium. I will go ahead and move to my end step. With Marin, I will target my Protean Hulk that's in my graveyard. And if there's no responses, he will go back to my hand and I will pass the turn. Mm -hmm. On your end step, I'll tap her and discard Call to the Netherworld, which has Madness. I'll draw a card. And then tap her. I'm going to play Madness of Zero and return a black creature card from my graveyard to my hand. I'm going to return. Grave Gabbler, Grabbler. Uh, tap. Why you only have three mana, Shauna? <laughs> I don't know. I've been playing the line for each turn. The non green player <laughs> at the table feels um, bad. Where did we go? I'm going to return him from my upkeep. And draw. Play a mountain. Oh my god, you guys. Um and tap Angie. Discarding violent eruption, which has madness. I draw a card. Uh -oh. That sounds bad. Her, and I'm going to deal three no. damage. To I wonder. <laughs> yes. And Thank you, you Shauna. Oh, You're my savior for the rest of the game. Dan, okay. counter it. <laughs> I wish That's I could. Cool. Right. <laughs> um, and. Would you do the one two? You did oh, everyone three, gets right? to draw a card. Okay. Thank you, Magic is oh, mental health. Drawing the card? Okay. Everyone draw. Drawing the card? Okay. Nice. And Merry yeah. Christmas to you, Magic is Mental Health. You. <laughs> yes. No. I'm going to discard a card again. This one has Madness. I'll draw a card. Untap her. I will pay its Madness cost. And play it. When it enters the battlefield, if not in the fast of state, it may return card your feature card from the graveyard to my owner's hand. Well, thank you for hosting. It didn't notify me, so I appreciate it. And I'm going to get the Arc Fiend of Spite. Put that in my hand. Ooh, that's not going to be good. <laughs> and I will. Go to combat. Yep. And I will swing with the 3-3 three, three in the air. Oh, no, that has reach. Um, yeah, my guy's reach. Damn it. I will pass. Damn I it. Card. <laughs> Damn it, booster. Right. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> you got rid of the crab, the biggest threat on the board, apparently. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Um, All my additional lands. Like, so many oh. carrots in my hand. Guess I need more ramp in this. I game. need a my ramen app excavator so that I can start playing all these lands that are in my yeah. graveyard. All right, tap this. We'll play Living Twister. Mm -hmm. So I can discard a land card to deal two damage to your target, or pay a green to return a tap land to control to its owner's hand. Then I still have. Let me drop a land. Let's drop an island. It's all gain four. Mill three? Oh. Nope. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. Interesting. All right, let's just do this. 
I'll play Trove Warden. So whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, exile target permanent card with permanent that costs three or less from your graveyard. And then if he dies, all permits that way come to the battlefield. Mm. Sorry, one more time. So uh, it's only for my graveyard. If uh, when landfall happens, I exile a permanent with current mana cost three or less. And then when the cat dies, all the permanents come back into play onto the battlefield. Okay. Yeah. So let's uh, get rid of his graveyard before he <laughs> can exile that rune crab. Hmm. I mean, I do have a piece of graveyard hate on my battlefield that I can use as leverage to you. not be attacked. Oh, this is true. This is true. <laughs> um, hmm. kind of want to save my reach. So I will pass turn, actually. Oh, that means it's my turn. Turn tap. And this is an oh, eight, eight oh. now. isn't that something? Um, speaking of Ramanap excavators, I'm gonna play oh. Ramanap <gasps> excavator. Look at that, ayo, ayo. And then I'm gonna play Terramorphic Expanse from my graveyard, um, and then I'm going yeah. to draw a card and get a <laughs> counter. And then I'm going to also play an forest from my graveyard. And I'm going to draw a card and get a counter. All the options. Look at all this stuff. I might as well see what I get when I crack that. Draw a card, get a counter. I'm going to mill myself because somebody milled me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Seven. Yeah, I think I need to play this now. So Nezahal the Primal Tide. Gives me no maximum hand size. I can, uh, whenever an opponent costs, casts a non-creature spell, I get to draw a card. And then I discard three cards and I can return him from the battlefield. Um, basically just flicker him out. Um, what else That's do gross. I have going on here? It's a little gross, but not so <laughs> bad. Not so bad. So I have a 10-10 now, which is lovely mm -hmm. not gross also um it's kind of protecting me but it, at this point i think i just need to start swinging oh sorry it's an 11 11 so i'm gonna swing at uh booster tutor for 11. oh <gasps> could you um oh. you can just block oh. with miltani you can bring her back this is true Or your Omnath. It's a 11 11, you said? Yeah. Hmm. All right. I'm sure you got some tricks, but Multani and the Trove Warden will block really? it. Really? 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, fine then. Didn't expect you to double block. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who are you killing? Um, The Trove Warden. Trove Warden gone. All right. There we go. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to pass my turn. You sneak. On sneak. your end step, uh -oh. I will go ahead and pay one to activate Scavenging Ooze to go ahead and eat the um, anger out of Shauna's graveyard. Hey. <laughs> plus one, plus one counter on scavenging ooze, and I gain a life. So I will go ahead and untap. Upkeep trigger on mana crypt. If it is evens, I will take the pain. Evens, I will take three. 
Death by crit. Dan has, yeah, Dan has done the most damage this, this game. <laughs> yeah, to himself. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll draw for turn. Right. I will go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven no. for a Protean Hulk. Mm -hmm. So he is a six, six. When he dies, I can search my library for mana value five or less and put it onto the battlefield. And that's any number of creatures, total mana value, six or less. Gross. I feel like a combo's coming from that. Mm -hmm. No. No. <laughs> Never. No, no. Um, I will go ahead and tap one for a Birds of Paradise. With the Ramanop, I will play a land from my graveyard. Um, I will play a Reflecting Pool. And I will go ahead and use that to play a Disciple of the Vault. Whenever an artifact is put from a put into a graveyard from play, I may have target opponent lose a life. And I will pass the turn. On your end step, I'm going to tap her. On my end step, I do have a Marin trigger. Oh, yeah. Which I will use to put Razakith Foul-Blooded back into my hand. <laughs> All right. Untap. Upkeep. And then you get three. Draw. Um. What's the greatest power of your creatures, you guys? Seven. Eight. Seven. Eight. Six. All right. Um, I'm going to tap five and play Nightmare on Making. Oh, no. Exile each creature with power. What? Less than the number of cards in my hand. Which is? Which is? Five, six, seven, eight. So everything? Okay, wait, That's... in response. Oh. I'm gonna arcane oh. denial. Ouch. Ow. Thank you though. <laughs> <laughs> I hear the E word and I get scared. <laughs> right. I just survived. Um, okay, so Good um, play though. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. I'll play land for turn. Damn it, you guys. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I will tap her. Discard sweet. Draw a card. That does not help. I will pay two. Hey, total. And play Mind Stone. And that's all I can do. Everybody has reach, right? Yeah. Yep. No. I do not have it reach, but I have two flyers. Oh, yeah. I do not have flyers or reach. You can attack me no. if you like. Oh. I thought you did. Wait. Okay. Well, I'll hit you for two, three then. Uh, All right. My turn. All righty. Go ahead. All right. Something else. Yeah. All right. A tireless tracker. So, of course, from a land of the battlefield, I investigate. 
And then whenever I can sacrifice a clue, put a 1-1 one -one counter on Tyler's Tracker. I'll pray Zorgia's Chancery. I'll return my island to my hand. So I gain four life. And hmm, I want to do that. Double green again. Damn. Oh, yeah, and I get a clue token. So far, it's been a very good Christmas, Matt. Thank you for asking. Mm -hmm. There's too much stuff on the board, so I will. Don't pass do turn, it. I guess. Okay. No, pass <laughs> turn. <laughs> I guess I will all out swing at everyone. No. <laughs> all right. I will untap all my land. And I will draw a card. Hmm. They have too much what bad on that. To do first. I think I do this one. So one, two, three. Four, five. I'm going to play Spore Mound. So whenever a land enters the battlefield under my control, I get to create a Saproline. Then I'm going to play Simic Growth Chamber from my hand or from my graveyard, bouncing a forest. When it comes in, I get to draw a card and create a Saproline. And then I will play Coral Atoll as well from my graveyard. It comes in tapped, and I will get another Sapperling and draw a card. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. Do I just keep going? Sure. I'm going to cultivate. Well, click on the right screen. <laughs> Search for two basic land cards. One of them goes onto the battlefield. So the island. And then one of them goes into my hand. So another island. I will draw. Oh, I have to shuffle first. I definitely am going to deck myself. <laughs> <laughs> so I will draw a card and make a sapling. So I have five left. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Dan, how big is your scavenging ooze? Scavenging ooze is currently a 3-3. Three, 3-3. Three. Three, three. I'm going to send Nezahal at Booster Tutor. Oh, everyone gets a draw card. Thank you. Oh shoot, you have an 8-8, eight, eight, don't you? Dang it. You have an 8-8. Eight, eight. You still want to attack or? Yep, I guess I said All it. All right. <laughs> I'll block with my 8-8. Eight, eight. All right, in response. Oh, you tricked <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play Simic Charm and give it plus three, plus three until the end of turn. All right. And then in response to that. Go, you. <laughs> I'll uh, be within it. Um, I will discard three cards and return it to my hand. All right. Or I guess it flickers. Yeah, so you don't get the three three either. Hmm. 
Look at all the land I have in my graveyard. I will <laughs> just pass. Uh, no, actually, I'm going to tap one, two, two, and play Swiftfoot Boots. And then I'm going to put it on my IEC, I think. Yep. That's my turn. All right. I will untap. I will roll for crypt. If it is evens, I take pain. Three, I am safe. I will draw for turn. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Black, black, black. One, two, three, four, five for Razakith the Foul Blooded. He is nope. an nope. eight, eight flying trample, pay two life, sacrifice another creature, search my library for a card, and put that card into my hand, then shuffle my library. Is that the uh, secret layer version of it as well? Uh, no, it's actually an altar sleeve from uh, okay. Mental Misplay. Um, however, I don't run uh, Demonic Consultation, which is the card it's supposed to be for. And um, right. <laughs> Ramp Gang over from Mental Misplay is like the Marin go-to. It's actually the Ultra Sleeves are his design. Fine. So cool. it just felt right to put it on uh, Razka. Cool. Uh, so does he resolve? Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. Yep. I will go ahead and pay two life and sacrifice the Protean Hulk. Any responses? Mm. Nope. Not, not, not at all. Okay. So the stack is currently the Razakith Tutor, then the Protean Hulk. So I'm going to go ahead and do my Hulk Tutor. All right. I have a, a response actually. Hold on. Okay. Uh, just in case, I'll tap, I'll discard a land card to do two. Is your Volt guy still out? Yeah. Is my what guy? The Disciple of the Vault? Yes. Yeah, I'll do two to him. Oh, this is tapped. And what is that that's doing that? The uh, Living Twister. No, it's not tapped. Like it back. Okay. Um, so it does go ahead and trigger my Moldervine Reclamation. I gain a life and I draw a card. Oh, it is tapped. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Um, so I will grab Malira Silvok Outcast. Um, where is everybody? Lesser Masticore. Here we go. Almost thought I wasn't in the deck. And a Viscera Seer. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll grab a Spore Frog for the lulls. So those all come directly into the battlefield. Mm -hmm. I will go ahead and pay two to cast an Animate Dead targeting ah, come on. the vault. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I did my best. <laughs> um, which then that is my combo. So essentially, I sacrifice the disciple of the vault to the viscera seer. Describe, uh, no, excuse me. I sack the lesser mastercore to the viscera seer to scry one. So the lesser mastercore has persist. So when he dies, if it had no negative one, negative one counters on it, return it to the battlefield with a negative one. Malira says I can't creatures I control can't have negative one negative one counters placed on them. 
and Disciple of the Vault says whenever an ad artifact is put in the graveyard from play, I have I may have target opponent lose one life. Yep. Yep. So I am going to, with that on board, I am going to play a land for turn off of the Ramanop. <laughs> I just play a land. <laughs> well, because I have my Moldervine Reclamation out and it is not a May trigger, I will actually wind up decking myself before I win. So we all lose. <laughs> um, no, actually, because okay. it's got to come all the way back to me with Moldervine Reclamation for me to be able to do anything. Yeah. Because I don't have anything. Actually, no, that's, yeah, I don't have anything I'm going to be able to get off of. <sighs> Let me think. So I need to play a land. Hold on. I might have it. I might not. I'm not positive. I will grab a swamp. So I need this. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. I need, this. I need this, and I need four more loyalty counters. Um. So yeah, I will sacrifice these four <laughs> to um. The Viscera Seer's ability, giving me five loyalty counters, or experience counters, from Marin. And scry four times. I'll keep it right there. So I go ahead and move to my end step, trigger Marin. I am going to draw five cards and gain five life off of that. All right. And now end step trigger, Marin, with five loyalty, I will target my Underrealm Lich, which will come directly into the battlefield, and his uh, ability actually stops me from losing mill. Mil. Yeah. Because it replaces my draw, I never draw that card, which would trigger me to lose the game. Rest in your graveyard. Oh, well. Okay. So I can just I'll keep infinitely sacrificing... The Lesser Master Core to Scry 1, Trigger Disciple of the Vault, Trigger Persist, Trigger Malira. We're right back at square one. You guys really should have killed that crab, like, early. <laughs> I blame you, Booster. <laughs> oh, that was fun. That Marin does what Marin does best. Marin does, yeah, right? <laughs> nice.